My name is Nick Woods. I'm a senior neuroscience student. I just wrote a thesis on adult neurogenesis in epilepsy. So I was trying to explore um, this process that was recently discovered actually in the last 15 years or so, which is the birth of new neurons in the adult brain. And in a lot of neurodegenerative diseases, these new neurons are perturbed in ways that more mature cells are not. Um, so I was trying to understand how in epilepsy, these new neurons form changes that actually contribute to the disease. And I was trying to see if we could reverse or repair these changes in the select group of neurons um, with our stem cell based therapies. Wesleyan is kind of in its own niche where we have a large amount of funding for a liberal arts college, um, but we also have a relatively small graduate student population. So what that means for a Wesleyan undergraduate is you're allowed access to significant experiments that you wouldn't be allowed access to, um, at other places, at other major research institutions. And as a freshman and a sophomore, if you're motivated, you can get involved with research projects that are, have a very high impact in the field. Basically, be, be applying what you learn in the classroom in a laboratory space, which I think is much more exciting to be, to be investigating a question that's new and novel and no one has investigated yet. What we've done is we've created an animal model of epilepsy that actually simulates a lot of the human hallmarks of the disease. And we've also generated a transplant because in both humans and animals with temporal lobe epilepsy, there's death of certain groups of neurons. And so our desire is to create those neurons from the embryonic mouse brain um, and then transplant them into the epileptic brain. And basically, we hope to replace and repair damaged populations of neurons, and we hope that they wire up correctly and reestablish contacts. I've always been interested in the dialogue between science and, um, on the one hand and clinical medicine on the other. And I think it's, there's a really unique area in neurology where you have the capacity to be informed by your research and help your patients with, with your knowledge of your research. In a lot of neurological diseases, we don't really fully understand what's happening. And we do not have a lot of good therapies for a lot of diseases. So I think it's really a unique opportunity to combine research skills with, with understanding patients, understanding their stories, and seeing them as unique individuals. And it gives you a certain sense of humanity when you're in the lab, it gives you purpose when you're doing the experiments, I think it's a lot easier when you have that level of motivation to, to be wanting to help patients eventually.